Hey guys, so I just wanted to give you guys a short video here. I'm in the process of making mozzarella. I've already done most of it. You can find other videos on YouTube. Um, but so far, this is what my mozzarella is starting to look like. And we have a lot of it. Um, I only... Alright, i got to use my hands a little bit because... I only used three quarters of a gallon of fresh raw milk with the cream taken out to make all of this fresh homemade mozzarella. All right, guys, so I'm just checking the temperature now. Check my way. Um, right now we're at 155. Do we want to get the temperature of the whey between 175 and 190? All right, guys, so now I got it up to temperature. It's about 170, 175 degrees. I accidentally made um, cottage cheese on top of this, all with three quarters of cheese. So I'm really stinking happy about that. But um, now is the stretching phase. So what we do... Um, Again, you can learn this stuff online, um, but I'm just showing you kind of what we're doing today. You can you can find other places to learn it, but for today, I'm just going to show you. You dip it in, and you let it heat up. Now, remember, this is extremely, extremely hot, but you want to get your cheese to about 160 degrees. Whew, this is hot. All right, guys, so to finish off showing you the stretching, so you want to stretch it. Look at that stretch, man. And you got to make sure you got to make sure your whey is hot enough to melt the cheese. And if you want to warm up your cheese a few more seconds, you take and you warm it up a few more. But normally, from what I've researched online, they mix the salt into the, into the whey. I'm not doing that today. I'm going to see what it tastes like um, if I mix it into the cheese by itself. So I'm going to let this heat up just a few more seconds, and then we'll uh, mix some salt here in a second. Alright guys, so look at that stretch. This is nice, good, stretchy mozzarella. So now I'm going to take and oops, I spilt some of my salt. And now I put about a half a tablespoon, well screw it, a whole tablespoon. Or almost a whole tablespoon. And I'm going to knead that salt in. And just so you guys know, all I'm using for salt is Redmond's ground salt and I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit of whey in just a tiny tiny bit of whey in just to keep it hot while I'm kneading it and so the cheese will melt Whew. that whey is still really really hot All right, I uh, had to stick it back in the way. I did not massage it, but I had to get it warmed up so that I can, I can stretch, I can uh, move it around good and get a nice, good-looking ball. But I wanted to show you that side of it. Look at that. Look at how good that's looking. All right, now I did not mix it up in the way too much. Because I didn't want to take that salt out of, out of it. I wanted to have it in the in the cheese. Now here comes the taste test. So I just wanted to show you guys. We got about another pound, pound and a half of cottage cheese out of this recipe. I think it's pretty stinking cool. Hey guys, so I just wanted to update you. Um, so... After making that mozzarella earlier, 
it ended up being really, really good. Um, I ended up making some more mozzarella after that. Uh, and that was really good. I didn't get anything recorded on that. But uh, I hope you guys liked the video. Um, it was just a little something to show you. Again, it's more about homesteading, being an overcomer, um, being able to know how to be versatile on what you're doing. <clears throat> Again, I'm kind of guiding this towards uh, people that are new to this lifestyle. Um, trying to figure things out, trying to learn how to go back to um, doing things off the land instead of needing a grocery store or whatever. Um, we need to really get to a point where people actually kind of know how to take care of themselves and not just quote unquote go to work for money and somebody else taking care of you. Um, anyway, like I said, I hope you liked the video. I hope you subscribe, um, push that like button, and we will see you guys in the next video. Thanks.